YouTube, what's going on, man? It's Taz with a review. I'm back with a review. I got five fragrances from Zerjoff, one of the top of the line fragrances that I like. Um, I got five of them in the honorable mention that I believe a lot of people don't speak about. To me, they are very, very underrated. Um, for one, Zerjoff is not mentioned enough to me on YouTube and the fragrance community. So I think I'm gonna bring some light to it with this video. Like I said, I got an honorable mention. My honorable mention is going to be uh, to, uh, More Than Words. More Than Words, man. This is a very, we're gonna spray these on texture strips. More Than Words is one of the ones, man, you do not hear a lot when it comes to Zerjov. It's like a very sweet, fresh, almost, I wanna say, almost aquatic, like a blue fragrance. Summertime, springtime type of fragrance. Um, it's like a fruity, fresh, it's a fruity, fresh fragrance. Blue, clean, crisp. Man, it's a very sexy fragrance for, for a man. Women, y'all may like this fragrance, but the fellas, you're very much going to appreciate this. A fruity, fresh, blue, aquatic style fragrance. Man, fits well for, um, for spring and summer. So that's my, num that's my honorable mention. This is uh, More Than Words from Zerjoff. More Than Words from Zerjoff. Never mind the fingerprints. So I'm gonna go down the line from uh, five to one. They're not in no kind of order. I'm gonna start off with Torino 22. Now I know a lot of people know about the 21, which is like a um, very minty, um, fresh fragrance. I don't have it on this list, but this is, oh my God, Torino 22, man. Let me spray this one on a texture strip. I'm gonna spray all these on texture strips so I can talk about them better. Torino 22, yeah, Torino 22. It's a very soapy, soapy, like clean, fruity style of a fragrance. It almost, it has a designer smell to it a little bit. It's not too much on the, the niche side, but like I say, when it comes to Zerjaw, sometimes they do have a designer feel, designer take on their fragrances, but the quality is niche level. But this one is like a very, it has, it has like a very soap style scent profile to it. Very, very unisex. Torino 22 to me is unisex and it's also better than 21 in my opinion. It's more mass appealing. Very, very good fragrance y'all, very, very good fragrance. Like I say, uh, you don't hear a lot of people speak about Torino 22. When they do speak about Torino, it's the 21. The 22 is very, very good y'all. Let me get one more smell. Very, very clean, soapy fragrance. Got some fruitiness to it. Man, whew. Man Zerjoff does not miss, y'all. I don't have the accords or the notes for these fragrances. I'm just going off spraying them on texture strips and what I get from them. All right, the next one I'm going to talk about is La Capitale. A lot of women say this is a uh, women's fragrance. Well, a lot of people say this is a women's fragrance. This one has so many different types of fruit in them, strawberry, peach. Um, like I said in my video, when I did a video on La Capitale, a man can most definitely pull this one off, y'all. Spray that one on a texture strip. Man, I love this fragrance. This is one of my favorite ones. Not just, mm, mm. You get some strawberry in this fragrance, some peach. I wanna say some florals in here as well. Man, this is, listen y'all, La Capital. Ladies, I know y'all wear this one a lot, but fellas, do not shy away from a sweet feminine leaning fragrance when it comes to La Capital. This is one I really want the fellas to take a look into y'all. Fellas, really get a look into La Capital. It smells like a fruit basket, like, but the, but the sweet, juicy fruit, strawberry, peaches, got some florals in here. Man, I love this fragrance, y'all. This is, to me, La Capital works great for date night. It can also be a sick, like I said, this is not something that you, you should spray a lot on because with all the sweetness and the florals, you don't want to like, you know, agitate somebody's nose. But La Capital on a date night, everyday scent worthy, this one works good for just like having a signature scent, you know, so, man. I love this one a lot, yo. I really, really do. Out of the ones I'm going to speak about, this one is probably the number one um, slept on fragrance from uh, Zerjoff. Now, the next one I'm, I'm going to talk about is 
Commandante. Now this gives you designer feel for sure. This one gives you a designer feel for sure. This gives you like, damn, that's a nice atomizer on that one. This one gives you like a, it's in the same lineup as like the John Paul Gaultiers, the One Millions. Very, very mass appealing. Sweet, fruity, playboyish, um, youthful. You get what I'm saying? This gives me like a, like a, a like a John Paul Gaultier, uh, Ultra Mall or One Million. Which One Million would I say? The One Million. Probably the the OG. This gives you like a Ultra Mall slash One Million EDT film. I mean, just youthful, playboys, fun, clubbing fragrance. You get what I'm saying? So, this is a uh, Commandante. I don't really hear. The only person I heard speak about this one was Mr. Cologne. I really don't hear a lot of people speak about the Commandante, y'all. You get what I'm saying? If you want a niche quality, but with a designer feel, a entry level designer, uh, youthful, playboyish, clubbing fragrance, Don Commandante is one to look at. But listen, I really want to get to the next one. The next two, actually. I'm going to say the best one for last. Actually, I'm going to speak about this one. Tony Iommi. Why I don't hear people speak about this one? Don't have no idea, y'all. This, to me, is easily top two slept on from Zerjoff. This one and the next one. Tony Iommi, y'all. We're going to get small sprays because it's a lot of cologne I'm spraying today. You got, oh my God, man. <laughs> You got leather. I don't want to. I almost want to say it's like a. It's a. It's a nuttiness to this. It's like a leather nuttiness. The nuttiness is. I don't know what nut. What I don't know what is giving me that nuttiness feel. It's like a like a almond feel I'm getting from this, along with some leather. Um, I want to say it's some vanilla in here. This smells almost like. Think of like a candy bar, that's heavy on almond. But almost got like some caramel. This probably got some caramel in here. On the beginning, on the initial spray, you got some um, you got some leather on it on the beginning of the uh, initial spray. Then it dries down to like a caramel, nutty, sweet, vanilla style fragrance. Why y'all not speaking about Tony Iommi? Help me understand that, people. Help me. I sprayed this when I did my video on this fragrance. Um, and then the, the case on this thing too, man, is very nice. Let me let me pull the case out. I got all my cases right here. Just check this case out. It's like we all know the lavender color from Zerjoff, but this one is black. Oops. You get what I'm saying? You got the guitar in there. You get what I'm saying? And and you know you got your your coffin style. Like that is very very nice. And then you got this card that comes with it too, y'all. Let me, let me close that up. You got this card from. And it tells you about this guy who I guess he's the, you know, he did the joint effort with this. You got the, you know, nice little card. And there's another one they have, the all black one. That's like a $600 fragrance. I mean, it's just, just the whole packaging with this is just very nice. But this is amazing. Like, let me get back to my story. I sprayed it on to do my video. I went to the furniture store to get some uh, a furniture from my new apartment. And a woman across the counter from me was like, uh, what is what do you have on that got you smelling? That's exactly what she said. What do you have on that got you smelling so nice? And I only sprayed it one time on my hand for my test video. So, unless you know, man, this is one that will get will get you compliments, will get you noticed if you spray it a lot. Uh, it's a winter fragrance for sure, due to the notes in here, the this, uh, the uh, gourmand notes that's that's inside this fragrance. But man, check out Tony Iommi for sure. The last one is a cardamom bomb. Right here, y'all. I really, really adore this fragrance. Man, ooh, the top wasn't on all the way. Okay, let's had to make sure that the top was. All right, here we go, y'all. We're going to spray this last one on the test strip. This is Starlight from, I want to say it's from the Shooting Stars Edition. But look at the bottle on that one, y'all. Man, this fragrance. Oh, my God. The cardamom in this fragrance is just so, so well done. It's very, very, this is, it's not overly sweet, don't get me wrong, but it's just enough sweetness. This is a fragrance that's going to bring women in. This is date night for sure. This is intimate settings for sure. Like this fragrance, I want to say this is like a fall fragrance, uh, leaning into the winter. But the cardamom in this fragrance, people, 
Very, very well done. This is a very smooth, relaxing, calming fragrance. But it's so it's such a seductive fragrance. It's such an inviting fragrance. Well blended, cool, calm, easy going. It has almost like a like a cocoa butter cocoa butter um, scent profile to it, like a you know um, a buttery, soft, easy going style going to this fragrance, y'all. I really, really adore uh, Shooting Star Starlight, y'all. This is one I do not hear enough about. I need y'all to start checking some of these fragrances out, man. Every last one of these, if you into Zerjaw, if you like quality fragrances that last long, that projects well, that leaves a nice sillage, good quality ingredients in these fragrances, um, worth every buck. Man, get y'all some samples of these fragrances, y'all. Get y'all some samples, um, test them out, get some good wearings in, and really see what it is when it comes to Zerjov. These fragrances that do not get mentioned enough. A lot of people know about the Herbapiras, the Italicas, the Liras, the Naxos, the 40 Knots, but I don't hear enough about these fragrances I just mentioned to y'all. So check them out, y'all. I know this has been a long video. I'm sorry about that, but please leave comments. Let me know about some Zerjov fragrances that I haven't talked about yet, that y'all have the knowledge of. Like this video, people. Leave comments, share, subscribe, everything, and I'll catch y'all next time.